Hey everybody, Cable here from Zerb. John from Zerb. And in this month's responsive reading, we are super excited to talk all about micro interactions. That was a little too big for a micro interaction. Let's try it again. Yeah. My micro. In particular, we have a number of links down below talking about animations and their role in micro-interactions, particularly responsive animations, mm -hmm. things that react to you as you interact on the page. John, why are you so excited about reactive well, animations? Well, I'm, I'm uh, excited about reactive animations, micro-interactions, and all those sorts of things because they're nice ways for designers and developers alike to cue the user to subtle little changes in state uh, using change detection, which is a psychology hack for your mind. Uh, to let the user be aware of something without hitting them over their head, uh, like I just did there when talking about the mind. So basically, <laughs> I'm drawing attention to something on the page. Right, without without being overly loud. So a good example would be if you have a share button uh, on a piece of content, like an article in your blog, uh, you don't want to have a big button that says share this because that's not the focus. The focus is your content, but you also want people to have the secondary interaction. In that case, it's sharing. So you need something to cue the user to that, like a reactive listener. Right, so the project that we actually published this week, it's one of the links down below, is this concept of reactive listening, of reacting to where somebody is on the page or how their mouse is moving. So in your example, as I scroll down the page and get to the bottom of the content, the share button might pulse a little bit mm -hmm. or get bigger to draw my attention to, oh, I just read this thing, it's awesome, maybe I wanna tell some folks mm -hmm. about it. Lots of cool stuff. There's a number of articles down here, best practices, things to avoid, all sorts of stuff when designing your own micro interactions and building them with animation. So check out the links below. We hope you enjoy them and we'll see you next month at the next responsive reading.